Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to e-app users, you can close Steam. If you have the game on e-app, if then you can close Steam if it is open and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is for Steam users, disable or enable the Steam input and then restart the game. So if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on e uh, Steam, I have the game on eApp. So you can make a right click on the game and then go to properties and do, go to the controller tab. Now over here uh, you will see disable Steam input. So try this disable Steam input and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try to enable Steam input and then check check which one is working fine for you. Now, next step is to, if you have any kind of virtual controller like Vijo, etc., you have to disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game. Disconnect uh, additional joystick or sometimes you have extra controller connected. Disconnect extra controller connected. If you have rotors, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using and then launch the game. Non-Steam users, add the game to steam so you can install the steam if you don't have steam installed you can install it from the steam website and then you can go to steam login to steam and then click on add a game and then click on add a non-steam game and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add selected program once the game is added over here now you can launch the game from steam and then you can check if that does not work again for non steam users add e app to steam now for this you can click on add a game over here and then click on add a non steam game and then click on browse and then go to the find uh, go c drive and then open program files and then open electronic arts folder ea desktop ea desktop and then find ea desktop exe file and then click on open and then click on add once ea desktop is added over here now launch if ea app is open you have to close ea app and then you have to launch ea app from steam so launch ea app from steam and then you can use ea app to launch the game and then check next step is for playstation controller user enable the controller in sound control panel you have to use the wired connection connection now for this uh, type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to sound option now over here right now there is no controller connected right now so you have to connect to your controller over here so let me connect my controller use the wired connection once you connect the controller you will see your controller over here now once you see your controller here you can see dual sets wireless controller make a right click and if this is disabled in that case you have to make a right click on dual sense and then enable controller over here and then make a right click on uh, controller once again and then go to configure speakers quadraphonic next make sure front left left and right and surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish now you have to relaunch the game and then check if that does not work, the next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller, Xbox controller or PlayStation controller using the wired connection, using the USB cable to the computer and then launch the game. Next step is for PlayStation controller, use DS4 Windows. I won't recommend using DS4 Windows because you might receive, so you can skip this step. You will receive virtual controller. So you can skip this step. Now update controller using PlayStation accessories app or Xbox accessories app. Now. If you have Xbox controller, in that case, you can open Microsoft Store. And once you open Microsoft Store, in the search box, you can type in Xbox Accessories app and then go to Xbox Accessories app. And then if not install, you have to install Xbox Accessories app and then you have to launch Xbox Accessories app. And then you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Use, use a wired connection and it will detect your controller. So let me connect the controller. Once it is connected here, you can see it, the controller. Now click on these three dots. And then if there is any update, you will see update option. So you can update your controller from here. And once the update is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Um, 
now for playstation controller user uh, you can do the same thing you can go to uh, google in google search you can type in playstation accessories app go to the official website of the playstation and then download this playstation accessories app and once it is downloaded now you can run this exe file and install playstation accessories app in my case it is already installed so launch playstation accessories app and once you launch it connect your controller now once the controller is connected uh, you will see here. and if there is any update you will see update option in my case it is already up to date so if you see update option update your controller and then check still not working the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so go to steam for steam users at the top right here you can see the big picture mode icon click on big picture mode icon now once the steam is in big picture mode uh, you can find the game uh, in the list and you have to click on the nfl 26 i don't have the game on steam i have the game on ea app now you can launch the game and then you can check the controller so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel